All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm going to make this short, but I want to get straight to the point. This video is about a post that I saw yesterday on the feed, as you can see. And this post is from Fop Fopi Israelite School. All right, so this is that nigga again, that nutty ass nutcase, all right, that believes that all the Israelites are so-called Negroes and every tribe is a Negro tribe. You're a nutty nut, man. That's what you are. You're a nut, man. All right, you're a whack, you're a whack job, man. Okay, and he's perverting the gospel. Okay, that's, you know, trying to turn back and put Israel back to sleep. You're trying to take away what the Lord built. Okay, the Lord is building the spiritual house. And the men of the Lord is being sealed by the Lord. Okay, but you want to take that sealed off. And let me say this too. You know, shame on you different other camps that that act like this is not offensive in which he teaches. You know, how the hell can you come together or not speak up and say what's wrong with this nutty nut? You know, now if he going, I'm going to just keep it blunt. If he going, fuck your woman. Then watch he going then then watch you gonna say something. Then you are gonna have a whole lot to say about this nut job, this nut case, man. This 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 bu buffoon, man. All right, you gonna um you gonna have a whole lot to say about this guy. That's when it's gonna come out. If he going fuck your woman, man. All right, because it's a shame that with you other different camps, you could defend the gospel and the doctrine of the Lord. You know, against Esau all day long, you will go, you'll go uh, uh, far and beyond, you know, pulling out books, you know, when really all you need is the scriptures. All right. But ain't nothing wrong with edifying. But you would defend the gospel, you know, perfectly when it comes to Esau telling you that you're not an Israelite. But when you got a fellow Israelite, a man that teaches that he's an Israelite and he's going off. You won't tell him, you won't say anything to this guy, but what you would do, you embrace him and invite him. You know, you would, you would break bread with him and you would come in agreement of, you know, with him talking shit against a group that's teaching the truth. You know, it's amazing how you guys, you know, um, will not defend the gospel when it comes to your own people. That just shows you right then and there, you guys are not men of the Lord, man. And the Lord going to weed you out. All right. You're not clothing Yahweh Shai. You know, when Yahweh Shai said that parable, when I was in jail, he fed me. He gave me water. You know, you the ones that's not feeding, that's not clothing or feeding Yahweh Shai, man. You know, you're not walking honestly in this truth and teaching the ways of salvation because majority of these freaking Israelites. You know, I want to say another word. These Israelites, they're looking for fame, man. And that's the that's the reason why. All right. You want to call this brother famous. You want to say he want to be famous. But this is the same why, Quanaf, why you took the platform. You made your return and took your platform of saw nigga. You got on his platform. All right. So you could get famous so you can get that that note that note that 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 notice. All right. You can you can get those that 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 that, uh you know, get your name out there, get your seat out there, get your position, you know, so people could come to your page. When saw nigga blaspheme the name of the Lord. All right. Right before brothers, you know, screaming it out, he said, F Yahweh Shah, man. You know, he said many other, many other, other ugly things, man. You know, in the name of the Lord and the Lord going to deal with him. You see, this is not a laughing matter. This is not a stand up comment, you know, a joking matter. You know, we, we, we supposed to be prophets. You know, teachers, we supposed to be looking over the flock, being shepherds. All right. But anyway, let's read the post. It says, look at this fat nigga. You want to be famous, boy. Here you go. We know you ain't put them pork chops down, dummy. I see the gout faring up on you. The GMS professor, you know it. You know it all, but stop telling lies to make yourself look good. What is the brother telling lies on? All right. I don't know if he made a video recently or you just posted this, but explain what lies that he lied on you about. Okay. 
because this is carnal, man. You know, when here it is, you're in the wrong. You the one that fell away. You the one that came back talking about the Israelites are all Negroes. You the one perverting the gospel, you know. See, I could slander you, make all say all these names and do all that, but for what? You know, it really, it really doesn't uh, uh, do anything. The th the thing here that, that needs to be done is just to be edified for those who are following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, to set that warning out there. See, you other camps, I must say this too. You know, you supposed to be a defender of the gospel. You know, scriptures also say, and my mouth, you know, you're supposed to be your brother's keeper, man. You know, let, let me hit you with an example. If uh, I'm with a brother and I'm just thinking anything up random, I'm with a brother and uh, we're taking a ride out to go to a restaurant, right? Go get a bite to eat and shit. And uh, me and a brother chopping it up, breaking bread. And um, I happen to look, you know, at his, at his way and I see, you know, the brother got like a, a book in his nose. You know, it's not to be funny. You know, and he has a book in his nose. And I was, hey, brother, hey, get some tissue out the glove department. Wipe, wipe, wipe your face. You know, wipe, wipe your nose and shit. Brother be like, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, the water, right. you know. Shit, clean itself up. You know, shouldn't I have told him that? So before we go into the restaurant, people won't be staring in his face and, you know, looking at him or a, ch a kid, a child making mockery of him because he got a book in his nose. So you would just let your, you know, here it is, you with this brother. But you won't tell him he got something on his face. You know, they ain't supposed to be there. You just let him walk into the uh, restaurant. That's what you niggas are, man. You different camps, man. It's a shame, man. <laughs> Great Millstone, hey, it's truly, you know, those men, man. Because we catch all the hell for just speaking up and speaking out, saying the things that you want to say, but you won't say because you think you're not being brotherly. You're not really showing true love, man. If you can't correct the man, you're not showing love. If you can't correct somebody, you're not showing love. You're not really looking out for them. You know, you think looking out for somebody and showing love is me and you drinking wine and laughing and talking about a certain group. <laughs> me and you making money together, that's love. If I can't correct you in your wrongs, then I don't love you. Because clearly the Lord said he chastened the ones he loved. But we're going to read. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, which is in the Apocrypha. This is chapter 32 and 14. Whoso fear of the Lord will receive his discipline, and they that seek him early shall find favor. So if we seek the Lord discipline, it shows that we fear the Lord. It shows that we, you know, we, we obey the Lord. Because we've been disciplined, disciplined, man. Before you come into this truth, in order to be a disciple, you must be disciplined. All right. You must humble yourself. OK, you must learn the ways of the Lord and, and throw away the ways that you thought of the world. And they that seek him early shall find favor. We need favor from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And especially in a time that we're coming into. Did not the scripture say hide us from the secret counsel of the wicked? Who's the wicked? We know Esau It's not he's plotting It's not he's demonizing us On his media On his mainstream media It's not he looking forward You know to his soldiers Putting hands on us Doing whatever it will His will It's not they the wicked So we need favor From Yahweh Washim Yahweh Shad Another reason why we teach Okay is to, is, is to seek mercy From the Lord In a time of need man Okay We need the Lord now before the uh, uh, hell break, break, break loose, man. So it says, he that seeketh the law shall be filled with it, be filled therewith, but the hypocrite will be offended thereat. All right. Because did not the Lord say he that put his hand to the plow and looketh back is not fit for the kingdom? Well, guess what? Once you start plowing, you can't go back. That's a law. OK. That's law. Because now if you leave, you know, you're not fit for the kingdom. Especially when you come back and you teaching a whole new doctrine nobody never heard of. Which wasn't given or taught, you know. Something you made up. 
And because you got demons that's being seduced by your wicked spirit, you think you should you should continue to keep pushing on. If you don't meditate and sit down, you're going to get hurt, man. Matter of fact, it ain't no you are going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. This is a serious, serious thing that we're into, man. OK, first off, this is your how about Shimmy I was shy. You know, this is his movie. This is his work, his scriptures. This ain't our stuff. You know, we're thankful that the Lord chose us to be those vessels, man. You know, to do something right. That's all to do something right. Because all our life we've been doing wrong, man. All right. So be thankful, man. You all see, man. Watch when this shit happens, man. You know, <laughs> let, let me continue, man. They that fear the Lord shall find judgment and shall kindle justice as a light. Because we found Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. We ain't letting go. We ain't letting go. Like Jacob and the angel, when Jacob didn't want to let the angel go, he fought that angel. The angel had to pop his hip out of place just so J uh, Jacob could get off of him, man. Well, guess what? We found the Lord and we ain't letting go until the Lord returned. Okay? It says, uh, it says, they that fear the Lord, notice the key word, fear. They that fear the Lord shall find judgment. This is why we point out the bullshit. This is why we point the finger, man. Because you are the bullshit that resurfaced. Okay? Should have just stayed away, made your money, do what you do. Be wicked. All right? Because we're, 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 we're really casting out judgments, man. Did not the Lord set us up as judges? All right? Scriptures say we don't judge of man. We judge of him that sent us, man. Okay? We don't judge for man's sake. We judge of the Lord, man. So when we, so when the brothers, the apostles, the elders sent out judgment, put curses up, you, you should be shook. You should be scared, man. You should be uh, uh, alarmed, man. You should be, you know, uh, uh, in a, a humble state, man. You're going to find out who the Lord is dealing with. Watch when the, man, listen. A lot of you guys going to be hurt, man. I pray Yahweh Bashim Al have mercy on me, man. I hope I be the elect. Because I know I can see it now. When Yahweh Shah start claiming and, and putting putting, putting uh, brothers before brothers and letting it be known who, who's mine and who I, who I deal with, you people are going to be embarrassed, man. You wait till Yahweh Shah let it be known. He's letting it be known now, but wait till Yahweh Shah. In front of everybody, tell you that this is my man's in them, you know, <laughs> you know this 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 is who I rock with, all right. This this is who I set up. The rest of you are gonna be mad as hell, man, with your head down. You're gonna be mad as hell when the Lord say that this man right here is wicked. I never knew you. Oh my man, you talking about you want to be famous? You want to be noticed? You talking about this brother want to be famous. The brother doing the works. You know? You the one that want to be famous. <laughs> man, the Lord always know how to get a man. Because we ain't nothing but dirt and ashes, man. We don't know nothing. We only know what the Lord teaches us, man. You know, the Lord builds you up till you get this big following. And then he bring your ass down as if you never been. <laughs> and the world knows that. Look, I'm glad I ain't him. I know not to be like that. All right. It says, they that fear the Lord shall find judgment and shall kindle justice as a light. All right. Now, here's the point. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. It's always with a wicked man. He can't never take correction. He always finding some other way to say something, some other way to say this and say that. But just can't take correction, humble themselves. That's why this this camp passed. We had a beautiful camp last week. Brothers from PA uh, came up, and uh, we titled the sit down show about being humble. You know, because this is real, man. What we into, what what we out, what we into, and what we do, and teach the scriptures is is very very serious, man. And a lot of you guys out there, you don't think it's serious yet. You think it's just something to do. You really don't want this place to go. 
because you really don't fit. You really don't love Yahweh Shah. You know, you don't really want Yahweh Shah to come back because if Yahweh Shah, when Yahweh Shah do come back, hey, guess what? All the shit that you was doing, that mindset and that thing, you niggas going to get shut down. You're going to get embarrassed. Remember, the scriptures say the Lord is an austere man. The Lord is going to embarrass men, man. He's going to embarrass brothers, man. And he gonna up, and then on the same sense, he's going to uplift brothers and show you the brothers he loved and who he was with. This ain't nothing to play with, man. So, you know, I'll leave it at that. I won't make it too long. I said it was going to be quick. But this ain't funny. You know? How you resort to, to slander? That's because you ran out of gas. You ain't got you ain't got nothing to say because you're a wicked man. That's why I read the scripture. I read it one more time and I'm out. A sinful man will not be reproved and findeth an excuse according to his will. You know? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Wanna give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.